all right to the back. Now, here, you gotta get underneath this back area here. You gotta go from the rear, so you gotta, you gotta climb up, you gotta lay on the ground. Looks like all three of these screws got to be removed. And so you gotta go up here behind here, like this here. I, think, I don't even know yet. I mean, look up underneath here, see it? That's to be like this here for you. See here. See that? over those screws right there. How we do that? Let's find out. All right, we got the front knocked out. I don't really like this clip. I think it's kind of cheesy. I've never been impressed with it. Not bad. If you really wanted to get this a little more professional, you could definitely put like some 3M tape in here. But for right now, I'm good. Looks good. I mean, the goal is to keep the uh, rocks and chips off this area down here. Making headway here. Yeah, looky there. I like that better. Plus, I'll have to find a freaking Phillips. So now, up here, I you say this is okay, but it filled the gap. So it definitely filled the gap up somewhat. Not too shabby, but not great. I think I'm going to change out this to this. Tell you what, I really like. The, uh, the screw. I think the, this is overkill. I'm going to kind of run with this. See, now you can kind of see how this is clipping in up here. This is a really, I don't really like this design per se. I think I put 3M tape on my last one. <laughs> see that gap right there? It just doesn't look very impressive, does it? In that aspect, I don't know, man. Oh, I misspoke. It's the top screw, not the middle. I'd rather use this if I could, but it won't be long enough, so I should have used a freaking 7mm head. See that? So it's a Phillips, that'll be a challenge. Oh, I misspoke. You use that washer on the exterior in each hole for each screw. Now, this is a clip right here. It's kind of funky. It's confusing how to put it on. But this clip right here, it goes so that when you put this up here, this goes behind the fender and it clips in. I'll show a little more detail on that in a second. But now we're gonna focus on down below, we're getting that washer and that spacer in, and the longer screw. All right, now we're gonna put a spacer. You got a spacer here. That spacer is gonna go right over the uh, hole there. And then you've got washers we should put one on each side of this right here. So you'll have one on the exterior, one on the interior. All right, so a little fitting goes behind it and clips on. And you'd be wise to pop that second one off back there too. And then take your screw, make sure you line it up. All right. And then we got to take out this screw here to make sure these holes line up right here. So there's one, there's two, so it's the middle one, the middle one. Oh my goodness gracious, the projects. I'm having to go to my old YouTube uh, video I made of my Scat Pack Gold Rush. So I had a Scat Pack Gold Rush, same type of color scheme. And I'm going to that video to see how to do this. So uh, <laughs> I've already made one. And here we go again. Wow, just crawl around my hands and knees. So, you got a lot of parts here. I've already popped off this little uh, plug here. And what you do is you take this part here, and we're gonna put this like this way here. Can you see my hand here? And it goes behind this. So it goes in behind here like that. All right, so what I did when I ordered these, I did the gray little emblem on it. You don't have to use an emblem. Hey, pup. Why don't you throw a pup? Good girl. So basically these are to go up in here, like this here. And so I thought I'd match the color of the paint. What do you think of that idea? These, I've had it in my other cars. I think I did a video on my Gold Rush Scat Pack on these. But, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. But anyways, just follow me along as I re-figure out how to do this again. I 
they're, oh, I get some. They package those in a thank you for buying their product. How about that? All right, the first thing we gotta do, look at this Gerber. My good employee gave this to me for my birthday. And I think it's wicked sharp, man. I've cut my fingers up before. But anyways, first to take this little bad boy and run it down there. Or did I already cut into the plastic? I did not. So I think you want to go on the edge. So I go on the edge on this. Just a little how-to here. Now we go more like that. See that? A little better idea. What do you think, huh? Well, looky here. What do we have here? We've got some rock blocks. What do they call this stuff? The rock blocks. Do you, do you block the rocks? Uh, front and rear splash guards for the Hellcat? I mean, think about this. Why aren't I putting them on this car? I mean, this is the Hellcat Red Eye. I mean, even for me, I'm like, wait a second. Why is the Scat Pack getting first call on this job over my Hellcat Red Eye? I mean, are you kidding me? Am I delusional? Am I confused? Am I favoring the kid? Am I favoring the dogs? All right, so let's put some splash guards on here to hopefully cut down on that bottom roughing up of the paint, right? Some people do the PP on this stuff. Not a bad idea. I'm going to do the rock blocks. So watch me. Well, lucky here, lucky here. What do we have? We have, well, I don't know. You know, as a father, you try to guide your kids in the right direction in life. And I told my daughter for years, we don't want a manual transmission challenger. And she just wouldn't give up. This is funny, the, the clips have come undone, unbeknownst to my daughter. So yeah, so for years, my daughter, a Dodge Challenger, stick shift like i don't want a stick shift i don't like the dodge stick shift. i don't like stick shifts in general and the, you know if the technology is cars and so my daughter convinced me to buy a dodge challenger gold rush wide body ta 392 pack if you watch my videos we have one of those over a year ago plus and uh and you know i just i just uh, this car, this automatic train, just seems so much faster. Look at this here. Anybody, anybody been to the Bucky's? Been to Bucky's? The gas place? That place is pretty cool, man. You gotta check it out. So, anyways, these 392 packages, Challenger and Charger, they are so much fun. So much fun. You get yourself in trouble. So, what do we do now? Well, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna protect these body flares a little bit more. And the way I'm gonna do that. Is I'm going to put some rock blocks. I think that's what they call them. They're the rock blocks, uh, mud or you know splash guards. And so, anyways, that's the next project. So follow me along on the how to do this. Even though I've done it in my one of our cars, I can't remember if I made a video. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, what do I do now, right? I think I'm going to put some mud flaps or splash guards on the Dodge Challenger wide body that I just picked up. This is badass boy. Look at this thing. Wow. That is impressive. Hey, it's Ice Age TV, and what are we doing now? I think I'm going to put some rock blocks on my Dodge Challenger wide body Scat Pack 392 with bird poop all over it. And wow, even the dog scare. Wow. All right, now the puzzle begins. All these washers and spacers. And this is your top bolt. This will be your washer for sure. And uh, let's see how this all plays out. All right, so up top, washer on each side. And I'm using the smallest spacer. I think you need because it's, it's like the least amount of distance here for the. Uh, well, no, maybe not. I may be wrong that. Actually, I need the longer one. Take that back. All right, now, if I was you, I'd start the top one. You know, most people probably take this tire off. If you took the tire off, it'd be a lot easier. This is very tight. 
but I'm finagling it. So I put the first screw in with the back spacer, and then the second one. Now I'm going to go down below with the third one here. Let's see if I can manhandle this. Very challenging. Wow, that's a pain in the ass. That is tight. So the long screw goes to the bottom, the short screw goes in the middle, the actual uh, fine threaded screw goes up top, and there you go. So I only got one side done. It's a project, man. You're not the right tool if you're not going to do this. The kit says it's straight. All right, now the next side. Good lord. You got bird poop in your car. Everybody wiped it off. So here we go. Next side, yikes! Oh my gosh, what a freaking project! I tell you what, hey, rock blocks, yeah, you guys may operate like a bunch of blockheads. I don't, it's just too much damn work. I mean, this is a freaking project, so I mean, look, they look good, but it is a project. So, if you watch my video, good luck. If you're smart, just take the tires off, just take the tires off. You're gonna fight this stuff all night long. So anyways, hope you enjoyed my video to say you put these rock blocks on without going nuts. Yeah, so uh, they look good. I don't remember this being this challenge the last time I did my other challenge. I'm just blown away. I'm blown away that I took this long to do this card night when I did my gold pack. I have a whole other video, exact same thing. And I don't remember being this much of a pain in the ass. All right, everybody. Hope this helped you make a decision what rock splash card should for your car. Debatable. There's ZL1 at ZL1s, I think, or whatever they call it, add-ons or something. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more excitement and frustration. All right, the kids and move the car to the garage. Let me start up this thing. Yeah, hear it? Wow. Wow. Listen to it. Wow. Amazing. It's like a butterfly. <laughs>